All right, got these Cowboy Studio 1200 watt lighting kit for my for Christmas, and want to do an unboxing. Comes in this nice bag. They come with four 85 watt daylight balanced CFLs, which are the uh, compact fluorescents. They say they have a lifetime of 8,000 hours, extra bright, whatever that means, energy saving. On Amazon it said they were 5,500 Kelvin on the title, but then in the description it said they were 5,000 Kelvin. On Amazon it also said that they were 85 watt, which this says that as well, but they were saying it was only 1,200, which would mean each of these would be 300. But according to this, 65 watt is closer to 300, the 85 watt is actually 425, which would give you uh, 1700 watt equivalent so anyway don't really have a way to measure that personally they so think that's a pretty big box the lights actually are that big these things are huge they're like 10 or 11 inches long big around as your fist it's just massive anyway you get four of those and uh, you might want to keep the box just to keep them safe so four of those and since it's the umbrella kit, it comes with two umbrellas. They are black on the outside and white on the inside. And like I said, they're 33 inches. So they also have the plastic sheaths you can keep them in. So two of those. Here, you got your uh, light socket. That's where you stick the umbrella and you've got your two um, sockets there. Uh, this is where your light stand goes, in this bottom part here. You've got two of those, two stands. These stands are not real rugged, but they do work. They are uh, seven foot stands. Anyway, a lot of people complain that there weren't any instructions, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to set it up. On the base, you've got a thumb screw here that lets the legs out, just loosen it a little bit kick all three of the legs out, like that, and then you can just kind of push it together. So you get it like you like it. When you got it the way you want it, you just screw that thumb screw back in. Don't do it too much, just enough to where it doesn't slide. And then you've got these, uh, these two thumb releases, I guess. I don't know what you want to call them. You can slide it up however high you want and then lock it back over. Anyway, you don't want to do it all the way up until you get the lights on it. Get them up there. Grab your fixture. And uh, loosen the thumb screw back here in the back. Get it on the stand. Tighten it back down. Screw from the base of the light bulb. That's how an umbrella works. A little thumb screw right here. Loosen that up until you can get the umbrella through the hole next to the thumb screw and put it on. And screw it on. And you can adjust your angles using these. They work in conjunction in both. Tight. Now you don't have to open it all the way, you can do it part of the way. You got a little lever release there. And you can see it's touching the lights. So you can loosen that back out and push it back through. You can put a piece of tape to lock it in place if you don't want it open all the way. It'll give you a little bit less broad of a source. Get it how you want it and then tighten that thumb screw back down. Got your switches on the back to turn it on. Just be sure to get the bulbs in before you plug it. And then flick on the switch. I decided to go ahead and set it up with the uh, fully open umbrella over here with both lights on and then I've got another umbrella back over there that's partially open with both lights on. So you're getting the kicker light from that and you're getting the uh, key light from the one that's close by. So this is what it looks like with just those two lights on. I've got it set at ISO 400, 1 50th of a second at 4.0 aperture. This is just with a 120 watt light bulb in the ceiling. 
I've got the ISO set to 1600, which is pretty high, and so it's going to be pretty grainy. So those of you wondering, why don't we just use a 100 watt light bulb, but it'll be plenty of light. It's not. This is at the same settings that the umbrella was at earlier. That's 120 watts. That's why you need all these extra lights. Just got a black sheet, king size bed sheet back in the back. And I've tried to angle the lights to where they're not spilling too much light on it. So I've just got the background. So you can see that just having these two lights is uh, pretty good as far as getting a good lighting setup with all four of these bulbs on, whether it's 1200 watts or whatever, it's significantly less heat than the uh, uh, shop lights that I've been using. That's the uh, Cowboy Studio 1200 watt or 1300 watt or 1700 watt equivalent thing. Highly recommend them. I give them five stars for the price. Now some of you may be wondering why I got umbrellas instead of soft boxes. Well the umbrellas, they give a wider spill, but you can also collapse them a little bit more like I did on this back one. The other reason is they have these things called brawly boxes, which is an umbrella soft box combo. I just got mine in today. I'm gonna unbox that too for a bonus round. Ugh. You can get them for about 16 to 20. And it's a 40 inch. Oh. It has a light hole in the middle. You can unzip it out, draw string it tight, give you more of a softbox look. So I'm gonna set this one up. This I'm gonna set that this one as a uh, the brawly box rather than just a regular umbrella and see if you notice a difference. So make sure this is on the outside and then open up your umbrella. Got your thumb screw there, you can loosen it up to get it on. Be sure this goes around. They aren't necessarily designed for a double light, they're kind of more designed for a single light. Anyway, just get it kind of around it, cinch it, zip it if you can. And then flick on your lights. So this is me with the umbrella. This is me with the brawly box. Um, that's bright, big, bright. Drop the ISO from 400 to 200, which I think just decreased it about a stop. That's the other reason I went with the umbrella, so I can get a brawly box and have a soft box type look and the umbrella look. Another good reason to go for the umbrellas and the uh, brawly boxes over the uh, soft box look is you get a, a more roundish catch light, which is a little tweak in the eye. Got some parabolics on the way. As soon as I get those in, I'll uh, do a review on that. Got some nice barn doors for it, a grid, lots of good stuff to talk about.